All right, I have some concerns about uh, my case that I've been arguing pretty much with a lot of commenters, a lot of trolls, a whole new set of trolls every time I get arrested. The past six times, that region has its own set of trolls. They'll subscribe, I'll see my subscribe sh subscriptions shoot up, and then when I leave the area, it drops. Happens every time. And it's happening with this one too. And they make some very tough arguments that the prosecutor brings up. They always do. So I just continue to engage with them because I think it's interesting, but it's stressful too. I don't like doing it. I think they do. It seems to be a part of their passion and they're all over the place it's regional so they cause me to have to think about what they're saying and how it's wrong and it just continues on even even in paducah paducah you can find trolls everywhere idaho colorado it don't matter north dakota they just, they, they all have their, they, they seem to have unique personalities with their arguing, but they'll definitely stay on topic with, uh, with the law and stuff. I mean, one, one time uh, the, in like Williston, North Dakota, they talked, somebody mentioned exigent circumstances at the library. Like the cops had exigent circumstances to get me out of there. And I, I wasn't too familiar with that, so they caused me to have to do a little research on their local laws. So I've learned so much about, about Idaho law, Colorado law, uh, Missouri law a little bit, but that got cut short. North Dakota law, Louisiana law, and now Kentucky law. It's, it's just... These, these locals just want to continue to argue their local, their local laws. And I'm, I'm constantly having to learn new local laws. And, and then uh, forget about it afterward. While they still remain the troll experts waiting for the next person to trap. And that's what it feels like. And that's one of my issues I'm bringing up. Is that it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a communication that the, uh, the church has only with the cops, apparently, where it's, built, it's written into the law that we're supposed to know that all property is private. Oh, I'm on, I'm on property. I hope a cop doesn't catch me everywhere I go. <clears throat> but they have to have communication with the cops. And this church had eight communication messages since 2017. So what is that, like once a year? And some of them don't even have anything to do with a legal issue. Giving building, the inside of a building uh, diagram, that's public information. If you give it to the the sheriff department you're giving it to the public <clears throat> so they're only communicating with each other and so that and, and so then the cops drive around to these little traps they have these agreements verbal agreements written cops said it was written agreement but there's no written agreement but it's certainly acting like a verbal agreement where there's drugs uh a big a big drug problem in the church parking lot okay you think they do a little bit more uh, to like maybe have a camera and and maybe have more barriers if there's a big drug problem there but I mean the reports show otherwise something about uh, needles being found eight months ago um, on a, a park bench which they and they think it might be drug related. I don't know. 
it was a short message without any detail, no pictures. It's just some guy saying this is how, th saying this is what they got. And, and who's the guy? They don't identify who the person is. They don't identify anything. It's just we're, we're working off of these hallucinations. They're pretty much hallucinations without any verifiable uh, information. And then I get associated with that. But this is, this is a, a high drug area. And uh, when I got arrested in this high drug area, the cops put me in handcuffs and when I was sitting in the back of the car, I'm like, my light, put it, why don't you put it in my car? And Deputy Weldon just completely ignored me. He heard me. He just, he didn't respond. He wanted to leave my light. And then later I realized he left my cameras outside my car too. In this high drug area, they leave my camera, both two cameras sitting on top of my car and a light on the side, just sitting outside of my car. And when I got back, they were covered in frost. So it's hard to believe they were touched, but they were at risk in this high drug area. So it's a, it's a concern that uh, they, 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 they're conducting themselves in this way. They're so concerned about this high drug area, yet they're not taking um, real precautions about high drug, about uh, what typically is like done by police uh, in high drug areas. All right, and I have to see what their policies say on this. What do you, how do you deal with high drug areas? All right, I don't think it's about giving bum rushes to people sitting in the parking lot. What if I just pulled in for just a couple of minutes? Um, just to get my just to get my directions or something. There's no there was nowhere to park on the side of the road around that area And I was looking I mean I started out parked at Walmart and Was set on sleeping there that night Yet there's smoke in the air and I'm sure those cops I'm sure those cops smelt it too all right you can't deny that there was haze in the air and the smell was really tough. But maybe, you know, home dwellers don't think much of it. It was bothering me and I was in kind of a, a vulnerable state with my health. Which I think I've improved now. But I was, I was vulnerable, I didn't want to deal with the smoke, so I wanted to move out of the path. Hey, why don't you regulate the people who burn the, the, their trash. Regulate those people who like to just burn their trash. Go after them. You're going after people who are trying to get out of the path of that smoke instead. Because that I'm the easy target. I'm the homeless guy moving around trying to find places outside of the path of these home dwellers' smoke. All right? And I'm the easy target because it's easy to get me out of my car. It's a lot harder to get somebody out of their house. Okay, so that's, that's just uh, targeting, targeting uh, opportunities. It's easier to, to get the e those, those easy sitting duck targets. It's easier. And that's what these cowards do, the Kentuckians. You know, and I, 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 was I, I, I found it amusing and I never, I haven't looked into it, but it's really been popping up in the back of my head every so often. But there was a joke on The Simpsons where George Washington and Lisa's dream talked about how he would call cowards Kentuckians. And I think that's relevant today. All right. I'm not sure the uh, background of that joke, but... When I think of uh, Kentuckians, I think of this Simpson joke about what Washington's opinions of them are. <clears throat> Back in the late, mid-1700s, the high drug area. <clears throat> this, this city, and I mean, I, I looked up the map for, for uh, locations, 
it's it's outside of the city apparently so they're not getting the city resources they're a part of the county that's why the city didn't come to the the church to bug me that night so um the parking options are county have a county standard to them i didn't see anywhere to park uh like on the side of the road i would have parked on the side of the road around maybe around that that uh the live that pub that the church later i learned at, at, um, on my walk back towards when i got close to my car i uh i saw i could have probably parked on the side of the road next to the lowe's um the lowe's home the lowe's shopping place but that still would have been in the path of the smoke when I, when I was leaving, I was actually stopped by a train right there. There's a train track right next to the church. So there's that property, and there's laws about train tracks and the property next to the train tracks and about markings in that respect. I, uh, I haven't really looked at that too closely, actually. That's something to think about. Maybe I got it. Actually, let me just take a peek here. I've been taking some screenshots. Uh, let's see the statutes. Private land adjoining a rail trail that is neither fenced nor otherwise enclosed shall be presumed to be land where notice against trespassing has been given by the owner of the land. Oh yeah, that's somebody who's using the railroad and the land next to the railroad. Okay, is, is just presumed to be land where notice against trespassing has already been given. So you just don't come off of the, the train tracks and, and onto the church property, onto any property that's uh, next to the train tracks. But I was like on Temple Drive. I drove onto Temple Drive and then into the parking lot. And there was no parking along the side of the road of Temple Drive. They didn't, I mean, it just wasn't that wide of a road. The road wasn't wide enough out, outside the church. I mean, there's there's got to be <clears throat> some better standards for for parking uh, <clears throat> when there's no options available on the side of the road, uh, and and you want to be in that be in that area. I mean, then uh, the the only choice you know I don't want to illegally park. I was not. This, this, this wasn't an illegal park issue, uh, but the cops kind of treated it as that. As it, was a, it, was a, it was a legal park job, but it was, it was called suspicious, but it was a completely legal park job, so there was, there was no, no uh, issues about needing to, uh, the cops needing to tow it. If I was park, trying to park on the side of the road around that area, then the cops, yeah, they, they could have tried to tow it. Uh, because it it uh, is just the roads are too narrow. All right. Oh yeah, I was thinking uh, for signs and stuff, a for sale sign, and if you want to sell your house, you put a for sale sign up. You po post in where would you post it in the front front of your house so people can clearly see you're trying to sell a house. All right, and you're inviting people. To look at your house and and uh, have you know look at the contact information, get familiar with it, and and that's that's uh, a sign that's that's used to communicate a message, the status of the house. All right, uh, we we can't just assume houses without signs are are uh, are for sale, and, and I mean I'm I'm told by the trolls that sometimes. People sell houses without using for sale signs, uh, and <clears throat> that's that's a very limited com communication channel going on there. All right, there's there's uh, fewer people who are going to be aware of that. So to uh, to argue that there's a, there's a fairness uh, standard within this limited communication going on. It's less. It becomes less fair when you limit the communication. All right, when people are less, when there's fewer people aware, 
because you've limited uh, the the reach, your outreach to everybody to make them aware of of uh, the uh, status for sale or or something's uh, some kind of business is is being conducted here tax free or uh, you're selling a boat or car an RV in your in your front yard you're not doing a, a car dealership but it, you're you're letting people know that there's something here uh, that you want to sell and you're in your uh, letting people in the local area know immediately where it's at so you could do a uh, an immediate transaction it's it's not so immediate if it's done online in, in on some particular websites that not everybody goes to it, uh, it's you, you're you're kind of you're limiting your your options for a good deal you're, you're shutting out certain people that may may have uh, been a a better uh, person to do business with than than uh, people who pr prowl online, tr especially trolls who who may who prowl online. The trolls want less competition. They they would want you to have a limited uh, uh, reach uh, so that they could have more influence on on the decision making process. Uh, if if they were interested in maybe buying a your house or a boat or something on, on your prop on your premises they, they would want a limited comp limited uh li um they, they, they would want fewer fewer people uh interested in purchasing which could you know other people could raise up the the price and value um how 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 is the seating at this church are they are they full on sundays i i mean Maybe they feel they have too many people, but why would they be, if they feel they have, if this church feels they have too many people, then why would they, they be bothering doing more outreach, uh, a soup kitchen every Saturday and, and, and uh, selling um, used clothes or giving away, giving away things, doing, doing um, like benefits for, for poor people. But well, you know, if if the church feels they're overwhelmed, they can they can cut back. But they seem to be doing more reaching out, uh, and <clears throat> it's it's apparently uh, not. Um, it's it's apparently it's apparent that the the reaching out it might might be just a facade. I, but I, I don't know the numbers this church uh, gets. But yeah, I feel that this these police are conducting a trap they, they drive around checking their traps like crab traps like bear traps they 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 have specific areas that they'll look they'll they know the area they just circle around check it you know every hour maybe then you know every hour and a half or maybe even within 10 minutes later come by and check again they just do a, a periodic they just they check uh, all all around all around the city, checking checking the the high crime areas because they've done their evaluation um, on the beginning of their of their employment at this city. They evaluate the city and try to get an idea of what they think is is problematic. They read through the reports and and get familiar with um, the history of a. The, the conduct in the city, the culture a little bit, and then they they uh, <clears throat> they look for patterns. And apparently, with me, I'm I was an, uh, a new car they've never seen before, so they they had to really give me a hard time being a a new car and 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 out of state. That's the thing too; they're picking on me because I don't have Kentucky plates. I'm the outsider. They said it. You know, you from Washington, you Washingtons don't know Kentucky law. So they decided they could give me a hard time, a little bit more of a hard time, because I don't have the, the proper Kentucky plates. <laughs> and I will say that I've noticed that 
there's a lot of plates in the south that not only have the state, but have the county as well. <laughs> They're really limiting the region for people's uh, license plates. You can't, in, in, these, in these regions, you can't just have only the state on your, on your, uh, your car license plate. They want to see the, the county as well. I believe that's what I've been seeing. Not the dealership name, actual state and county to really lock you in. All right, I think that's some COVID uh, regulation type of thing. They, they just, it's, it's, it looks to me to be like an effort to, to lock people in. Because if you move to the next county and you got these, this strange, you know, county, you know, like Graves County or McCracken, if, if you're in McCracken County and then you move to Graves County and you start hanging around, you, the cops start seeing this McCracken license plate from in Graves, they're going to ask questions. Who's this outsider? You know, they're, they're locking people in the region. And uh, Graves, I believe, is, Graves County is, I believe, south of McCracken County. And don't confuse John uh, Hay, Hayden, the, don't confuse Chief John Hayden with, with uh, Deputy John Hayden because they're the same, they may be the same name, but don't confuse the John Hayden who, who uh, threw that pregnant black lady on the ground last year. Uh, don't confuse that one, that John Hayden, with uh, Chief John Hayden. You know, you don't want to make that mistake. But uh, <laughs> I don't know what the either one looks like. <laughs> they, uh, the news the news said not to be confused John Hayden not to be confused with Chief John Hayden of Graves um, County not to be confused what do they look like I bet they could be the same person and they're just saying that the same first and last name and it looks like because I don't see a John Hayden anymore on the the roster for for McCracken County De Deputy John Hayden there's there's no guy and and I didn't see his picture either in the 2019 uh, annual report the first annual report and last last annual report in 2019 with the former sheriff the new sheriff um, Ryan um, Dep uh, Sheriff Ryan Norman, he uh, he didn't he he ended that maybe because they stopped getting the drug money. All right, this this 2019 first annual report at the end of it says it was funded by drug money. Now where's the drug money going? All right, they decided to uh, de decided to divert those funds to something else. How much do they pay for that 2019 report? Did it cost a lot? They just they didn't say it, it cost this much. They just said it was paid by drug money. So it was the first and last annual report for in made in 2019. <clears throat> Let's see. So if the if the church put up a uh, no trespassing sign. And in the law, it says if, it, if the place looks kind of like this, it's not going to be so clear that it's a no trespassing area. So you, you absolutely want to put up no trespassing signs. But if, if the church, and, and I, I actually visited another, um, another uh, Baptist church that had no trespassing signs, but this one was actually abandoned. So they, they put that up because you, you really couldn't tell if it was in use or not. It, uh, but it more looked leaning towards not use, the Mount Sinai Baptist Church. But um, it won't look so good if they have to put no, no trespassing signs up. Because it's like, all are welcome, and then you see no trespassing. Or at least, you know, you could put... A uh, 
no overnight parking. You don't even have to put no trespassing. You could put no overnight parking. But not even the church downtown that I interviewed uh, somebody outside. He was taking uh, the Christmas decorations off. I, I talked to him, and they don't even have a, a no trespassing sign. They, they say that in the parking lot for uh, like official use only type of thing. But this is a church in an area where the bus stop's not far, the library's not far. It's got a, a significant homeless population in and out and around the area, but not, not too significant. But uh, the most that this church does is, is they'll call in to the cops to let them know that there's something going on. The guy said that he reported a drug activity of some kind that he caught on camera. Okay, where's the camera for the Baptist church? I asked my prosecutor three times. He's like, we got nothing, we got nothing. So I have to assume that they, they have no video of me driving in there. All right, they have no idea how long I was there. Okay, there, there's, there's, there's no time limit, okay? The cops didn't refer to any time limit. So just pulling in and stopping for more than a second, even if you were gonna just turn around or get your bearings, is enough to be trespassing with these guys. There's, there, there's no time limit. If you, if you veer in, you're suddenly trespassing. It's, there's, there's no, there's no uh, cushion for time limits in, 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 their, in their attitude towards, uh, towards your presence on that church property late at night. <clears throat> so it's, it's really tough. How they are so tough on people and, and the people still allow it. The people still allow the cops to get tougher and tougher on them and, and uh, they don't push back. They don't question why. They just say, yes sir, yes ma'am. It's the Southern way, right? They, these these uh, uh, police force and the court staff, they, they seem nice, but you, 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 uh, you cross them in any, in any way and they'll get mean, all right? But they'll, they'll be nice, but they'll be nice in, in a real underhanded way. So let's see, uh, time limits, let's see, it's tax, yeah, church, church, I think the church's tax exempt status would be question uh, if they put up no trespassing, maybe no overnight. I think the church has to be careful about uh, not trying to be, trying to be uninviting. They want to be inviting, but uh, also uninviting, I guess, in, in other ways. Let's see, I guess that's all I really have to complain about. I, I kind of want to make another video about talking about what I'm going to say to Judge Jones, just as practice. I'm here to practice because uh, I got a, a February 8th, February 8th um, hearing on Zoom, and I want to put things into the record. I'm just going to say, excuse me, Judge, I got some things I want to add to the record, all right, that I... I'm not really writing down as part of a motion, just adding to the record, because there's really nothing to ask for as a motion. I just want to have these uh, problems addressed, and I want to um, just have them in the record. That way, uh, if there's something that I want to bring up later as a part of an appeal process, I could say, yes, it was mentioned. You know, it's, there's, there's things you just don't want to ignore that uh, could be important for the record. So I'm gonna stop this here.